No, that's the horse telling you. Yeah, that's what I'm doing with it. Greetings, folks. Dan and Angela here, and this is not Kaiju Movie Review, and this is not an update video, and this is not Monster Bites or anything like that. This is more special, or yes. Special. We are doing something we haven't done on, in a long time on this channel, about five years or so. We're going to be doing an unboxing video. And we're going to be doing a special kind of unboxing video, if you would like to show them there. We got our premium Japan crate in the mail today, and it is Halloween today, and it's a Halloween themed Japan crate. We were worried we weren't going to get it before uh, Halloween, or at least outside of the parameters of October. So it arrived just in time. We were actually thinking about wearing our costumes, but when you got done running around with three kids, you're just kind of like... Somebody decided to throw his head away. I threw my head away. We'll put pictures up. We'll show what we're talking about. But we signed up for Japan Crate Premium here. It was $30 a month. It's the most expensive one for their standard Japan Crate. they got several other ones. I should mention we are not sponsored by Japan Crate. As, as cool as that would be, we are not sponsored by them. We decided to do to get this because we like Japanese snacks and treats and it's kind of randomized. And just to bring you some more content that wasn't heavily scripted or anything like that. We did switch from Loot Crate we had and we just decided to mix it up. This was $30 a month shipped. Now, of course, it comes from Japan, so it takes a little bit to get there. If you're interested in it, go ahead and check them out. We'll put a link in the description below. Again, totally not sponsored. Hashtag totally not sponsored. <laughs> uh, we're going to open this up, show off some products, try some of it out, see what we got going on. So if you don't mind, Princess, open it up. I don't know. But and this is essentially filled with candies and a premium item and a drink and it's like 15 plus items here we'll go ahead and turn it so they can they can see and and we don't bye we don't know what this stuff is because i can't pronounce japanese and neither of us can read it so we're just gonna that's a big that's a big one right there it's got magic rainbow star power. You can't see that because the camera probably doesn't pick that up. But we're just going to go through it and kind of show off some items we got here and just take a shot in the dark as to what they are. So we'll slide the box over here. Is that all right if I put it here or do you want it on your side? No, this one. I don't know what this is. What? Well, it says Happy Halloween. I don't know. It's got random characters on it. I'm not I don't sure. know. Explain this to us. And we got another one with more. Is that, are those cats? And this is Happy Halloween and Happy Something Kitties. Don't, don't, don't it. Yeah, it's yeah, of course. Time. Yeah. So, ooh. I'm hoping this one's beer flavored. I don't like beer, but I don't know what it is. It's something. Um, this is going to be the most... Is that creme brulee? Is that what it says? Yes, it says creme brulee. It's Lipton creme brulee. That's going to be exciting to try. Get the pail. No, I'm just kidding. We'll, we'll, we'll try it. We oh, don't know. It looks like coffee. Hmm. And that's, it might be. Oh, we got a Kit Kat. Uh, Shimi Cocoa Corn. That's fun. Oh. That's a big, what now? What? Choco. Not cocoa. Choco. You're right. There's an H. It's not C-O-C-O-A. Yes, we did get Kit Kat either. You, you, you show sure everybody the Kit Kat. Zebra. Z zebra flavor? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Wait, wait, wait. This is. Oh! It's, I've had something like this. Pure gummy. I think I've had gum by them, but it's grape flavored something. So it's, creme brulee. I guess creme brulee is a, is a big flavoring in Japan, I guess. Here you go, princess. 
What? Is it a mix thing? What do you do with it? How does one instructions in Japan? You can't read Japan. I can't read hey. Japan. Chupa chupa <gasps> It's a Japanese chupa chup. Ooh, pineapple. Ooh. I don't know about that one. Pineapple banana. Could be interesting. Here you go. I'm just grabbing these at random. We have no order in any of this. Like I said, we, we didn't open the box. We literally opened it right in front of you, cup to tape. That's how we're going to do these. We're going to be totally be a surprise because you we want you to be <laughs> as involved in this for better or worse. Why don't you nice here? Okay. What? Crisp and fresh Japanese soy sauce flavor. Something X Halloween. I, I don't know. It doesn't have any English on it at all or anything I can understand. Some cracker, crispy fried thing. I don't know. Are these panda crackers? For panda cookies? Oh, yeah. oh they are panda cookies. Oh, they're, they're koalas. They're yeah. like the offshoot koala, koala cookies. cookies. Yeah. Right, sweet. But when you get the kit, the premium, you get like 15 items or candies, a drink, and then like one bonus item, which could be anything. I don't know if it was the Kit Kats, if it was just the big uh, Choco or what, what it was. Yeah, we got instructions that should hopefully break this down, I hope. Okay, chess. It has got a thing that's telling, explaining Japanese autumn flavors, which are. Ooh, Kit Kat mini caramel. It was caramel pudding, is that what it was? Okay, we actually have, um, oh, okay. So it breaks down our, oh. We got the treat. <laughs> the treat. Oh, gosh. Okay, you explain that to him, dear. Please do. So I guess in the October one? Yeah. I guess it's, it's only treat. October. It's a, you get a trick-or-treat drink. Uh, the treat is the the one that we got. Grand brulee. Or the trick is the sh Shijimi clam miso soup. Clam miso soup drink. Uh, is this can? Is a can of soup. Oh uh, well, I mean, I could. I, mean, I don't know. I'm, I'm not much for clams. Anything bivalve or anything like that. I'm not. I never had much of a tongue for it. This was the bonus item. The Kit Kats. This was the bonus oh, item. okay, good. Let's see, hold on. And we got everything from the mini, the original, and three premium. Yeah, you get fifth. You get. 14 items, and then your your bonus, which was our Kit Kats. Sugoi crate. Ugh! But anyway, yeah, that, that's, that's, you get, it shows you the tiers in the book. You get, what, five items in the first crate for the first level, and you get an additional five for the second, and an additional five for the premium. Mm -hmm. And the premium includes a drink every time, so. The premium includes the bonus item and a Yeah, bonus item and a drink. So, there you go. So, you still get 15 items either way. Uh, this is great. Pumpkin pop candy. Great. UVA. UV radiation approved. UVA. Got it. Ultraviolet radiation. Well, I don't know. We got, we got a book that tells us. Um, Monster stamp? Is it? How come yours has English on it? My, none of mine have it English on it at all. Well, mine doesn't have anything. It's just like shot in the dark. See, look at the. Can you look? Somebody's going to be able to read that. Like, you're an idiot, Dan. This is what it says. Like, no, I just. Here you go. It's candy. It is candy. Candy. So we get little candies. There, there's our little thing. We're gonna try a few of these out. How about how about we each pick one? We'll try them, and then we'll try the drink. Which one do you want to do? You want to do you want to pick? I know. Do you want to pick? You want to try one of these first, or do you want to try the drink first? I'll try the drink last. Okay, damn. I was, I was like, ah, ha, ha, ha. You see, they even got more. I love the inside of the box. I know, the box is very pretty. And even on the back it says, I love you, or we love you. Yeah, and we'll, we'll, I don't want to. We'll kind of cover some of this up. On the bottom it says, we love you. And it's got all these kawaii. Um, it's actually got a ton of, what's the word? Japanese monsters, yokai, not kaiju, yokai. You got kappa and, and then what looks suspiciously like a boo from 
Wario, and then that the the parasol monster. I don't remember. Sam. <laughs> Sam? That was a minion at first. It's not. I know. We know it's not a minion. So okay, you, you pick you pick an item first, and we'll, we'll go with your. I think I know what you're gonna pick though. Do you want to consult the guide? Let's see. I want to see what this is. What it's supposed. Well, to be. I mean, it's got to be good. It's chocolate. It's chocolate corn. It's probably like puff corn stuff, like a cereal. Chocolate puff. Yeah, let's see, I figured it was like a cereal thing. Are so. sure to satisfy as baked potato chip and chocolate craving to the throat. Ooh. Oh, that's sweet and, sweet and salty. This is mine. Okay, we'll go ahead and open it up. Go ahead and open that beef. Oh, smell it. Oh, that smells like, um, Count Chocula. Ooh, and it's not, there's something on Oh, that's there. my phone. Oh, oh gosh. Okay, goodbye. Okay, no, 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 no. No, no. I gotta try one of these out. Oh, God. Mine looks really good. I like those a lot. It does kind of, it does, it's like kind of like a cereal, but it's not. It's almost like a candy, too. That's good. Yes, that's a, that's a keeper. <laughs> that's a keeper. <laughs> Let's dump the other ones off on our children. <laughs> Suckers. Ooh, we got a black thunder bar. That must have been what that is. Oh, that's our DIY kit. Yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. They, they, the, the um, original, the, the mini, it goes mini, original, premium. The original includes, I believe it includes a DIY kit, and of course, up does, which can be anything from that to gosh upon, so so on and so forth. But that was our one. It made it's a it's a thick, mm. slimy kind of stuff. A, a sticky syrup candy made to look like slime with your DIY kit. Mm -hmm. Ooh, maple butter beer. I was right. Butter beer ramune candy. Mm. Hey, those are high chews. Where? I didn't realize. I didn't look at the logo. These are high chews. I should have seen by the brand. Heck yeah. Mine's got, um, oh wait, which one do you want? You want grape or strawberry? Well, of course. You get the one with the Pumpkins on it. All right. But you got a, you got a pretty cute ghost and axe. All right, since we had something sweet, I'm gonna try this. This which, is the girl candy anyway. She's a. That's sexist. She's a <laughs> this is. This is Halloween Bonchiagi. Bonchiage. So we're gonna try this. It's some kind of salty. It's a salty item to complement this majority of um, uh, more, or with a mainly sweet uh, bias or treat, which is understandable. It's ca it's candy and treats. What's... Ooh, that's got an interesting odor. Oh, good. You got now. You gotta try it. We're in this. Not how I thought that was going to taste. Not bad. No, it's all right. I mean... Reminds me of... I don't know what that reminds me of. That's interesting. Almost like sesame sticks. Yeah. Yeah, I could see that. Well, let's pick one more each, and then we'll do the drink and wrap up the video. Oh, maybe we should try that one. <laughs> well, well, we don't want the first one to take forever, but we'll, we'll see what happens. Here we go with that one. Mm -hmm. I'm not even gonna. Okay, I'm gonna read. I wanna know what it is. I'm not gonna tell you though. What is it? Oh, it looks like. Um, oh no, that was those. Then we ate something different. They look like hash rounds. What was look. the. There you go. That was the salty one. That's not bad. Then what was that? I don't know. It doesn't say. It's, uh, it's ponsuke. We ate Ponsuke. This is the um, Bonchiagi. This one. It's a, yeah, it's a wheat snack. Crispy and slightly sweet. Yeah, okay. What, what are these? These are... Um... It tastes of soy in it. Mm -hmm. Not bad. 
It's like a soy flavored rice cracker. I mean, it's not just straight soy, but that's not bad though. Yeah, I'll take another one. <laughs> I like the stamp kit though. I don't want those to go away. No, I'm fine. You can. You're all right. This is mine. I'm going to do the um, pure grape. Interesting package. Probably shouldn't talk to the natural. Yeah, probably not. That's rude. I apologize. I'm sorry. It's, there's food and we have things that need to be said. Oh. Oh. There's more than one. I thought it was just going to be like one big one. And they're love hearts. Oh, that's stout. That smells good. Ooh. Very great. And I noticed, I know with a lot, a lot with um, Japanese candies, obviously they seem to use more, seem to use more straight fruit juice. I could be wrong. That definitely smells like a glass of grape juice. It does smell like a glass of grape juice. That's really good. Tastes like a glass of grape juice, too. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's very good. Kudos to them. There's only four in there, but kudos to them for using proper flavor. Good deal. Now for a drink. I'm scared. I want to read what these are. Before we move on to creme brulee, uh, creme brulee, which I've never eaten before, these are Halloween Umaibo corn. I don't know what I'm Potage? P O T A G E. Potage! Let's see, a festival corn potage with another flavor of package. It's a soup. It's a soup? It's a soup flavored thing. Oh, soup flavored. Yeah. All right, we'll try one of these. I don't want it. Oh, well, gosh, they're all kind of broken up. Yeah, I picked this one up. It's kind of smushed. And it, it's apparently a fan favorite, these are. Hmm. We'll try this last one and then we'll, we'll move on to the drink. Because you can't We are. It's going to happen. This is a real, real thing. Your piece. Dude, this is this is this is a big Cheeto. No, it's corn. It tastes like cream corn. Mm. And it's exact. It tastes just like it's a cream corn stick. That's really good. I was scared by the smell. Well, look, it's like I'm gonna open this up. It's, it's literally like a big puffed Cheeto, and people are like, "Ah, oh, you've never had these before." Like, no, I never had these before. We go to the only the, thing that we've ever had from Japan, that's a little actually sweet too. from Japan, is... That's more of your alley. I'm not a big fan of cream corn. Mm -hmm. It tastes good, but those are... The strawberry those. Kit Kats in the... We bought some more random stuff from... The, we have an Asian food store in the Knoxville. Sunrise. Actually something from, that came from Japan. Yeah. It, it's the Sunrise Market. They have, you know, Japanese and a bunch of other Asian countries and Indian products and stuff there as well. It's really good. I like going there. Um... But, you know, when you can't read half the labels, you just kind of got to wing it. Of course, it's not particularly catered to an English-speaking clientele, but that's fine. We get by. We buy random stuff. It's good. It's very nice. It's really good. We didn't try these yet. I know. We're putting it off. We didn't try these yet. <laughs> these are cool. These are caramel, though. They're, what were they? They're caramel. They're caramel pudding. They have to be good. Okay. All right. Good. A mess. Look, my side is all clean. Well, clearly. Ooh. Oh. Oh, fudge. Did you just got the money on it? It smells good. You smell the caramel pudding. Yes, I do. Mine says hand pulp. What Hand talk. I don't, I don't understand. Have a break. They're a little melty, which tends to happen. It, it had a long boat ride. These are set sal, so they do take a few weeks to get to your house. But it's to be expected. So they're a little melty. It's not what you think of when you eat a Kit Kat. Oh, no. 
<laughs> yeah, oops, I'm spooting. I'm spooting. I'm spooting! Sorry, I got excited. That is definitely different. It's a good deal. I'm probably getting you a lot of them. No, it's mm -mm. definitely sweet. It's very strong. Mmm, it's time. Unilever? What do they got to do with any of this? I believe they unripped them. Do they? I believe so. If I said anything in this video that may come off as insensitive, I not, do, not, do not mean that at all, and I apologize if it did. All right. I'll go first, all right? <laughs> it's, a, it's fine, it's fine. You know what they say, people that make a mess when they're eating just really enjoy their food. You must really enjoy it every I, time I eat. always do. I always put, leave some on my shirt so I can say it for later. I got that, honestly, from my grandmother. I just need to clear my palate. <laughs> Wait, I got water. Yes, thank you, dear. You ready? You need it? Sweet. Dry it first. I'm scared. Oh. Hmm. You know how I am with drinks, so. Chug it. That's not the problem. It smells vaguely like fruity pebbles <laughs> and milk. It's really odd. Drink it. Well, they say Japan's a test bed for flavors, so you gotta do two drinks, though. So. Remember, they say two take, take two bites. Anything you test this new, you gotta get over the initial re shock and then try it again. What? You're all serious. I like tasting stuff. <laughs> that is like a tea. Like not like like you know how tea's flavored, it's real subtle. Mm -hmm. That does smell like fruity pebbles. It does smell I see. Well you're not here, but you see? <laughs> it's not bad. It also smells like something. It's not bad, it, but it's flavored. I'll tell you before you get it, before you drink it, it's flavored like tea. So it's not a real strong hit up front. I'll just give you that. But you got to do two drinks. See, I could do food all day to drinks that give mm -hmm. me. Well, you can take little bites and drinks are more lasting. <laughs> you gotta go again. <laughs> your nose. Here, I'll hold your hair back. <laughs> oh, that hurts. Mm -mm. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you. <laughs> I'm good. All right, all right. We had fun, and I hope you guys did. We have some other items here we'll try at some point. Um, I think most of it, aside from the drink, of course, which I thought was just all right, and I wasn't sure if she'd like it. Uh, most of it was, was pretty decent. We you know I would 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 you pick a highlight? I'm assuming you're gonna pick the cocos. Yes, that's, that's my highlight. Yeah, well, of course. <laughs> well, but I would say it's really close. But I'm gonna pick with the grape over the cocoa because it was a real the grape was like is literally like drinking a glass of grape juice. It's like it's concentrated, just pure grape juice. But I didn't taste any other than the drink. I didn't taste anything that I. No, no, Didn't that was lie. that was bad. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I I agree. Even the um, cream corn Cheeto. Oh <laughs> I, it, you know, I'm not much for cream corn, but it's not I bad. Uh, apparently, they're a fan favorite, and I, I see why people would like it. Of course, uh, being in Japan, slightly different palate. But, uh, thank you to Luke. No, oh God, Luke, that would have been bad. Thank you to Japan Crate for sending this to us. And did they follow us? On Twitter? Yeah, they, they followed us on Twitter, and we appreciate my account, your account, and the Kmart account. I think so. Okay, well, I think they're following all of them. One of them, one of those in there, but 
We appreciate them. We appreciate them for having this novel idea for, for folks that, um, like ourselves, that may be considered weebs, but we do like Japanese culture and we like Japanese food and we like trying new stuff. So this gives us, uh, this gives us something that when we might not, we might not ever, ever have gone to the store and picked this stuff up. The saying was all available at our local Asian market. I couldn't just, you know, I, there's odds are I would never just, oh, let me just grab this and try it. So they give it to you and essentially present it and say, here you go, try this stuff. So it's fun. I like it. And you don't have to get the $30 one. I think there's a, this, the entry one's like 10 or 12, 15. It's like 10 to 15 with free shipping, and it's like 20, 25 free shipping, and 30 bucks of free shipping. So we figured why not? We'll just go full bore for you guys and for ourselves. So we'll, we'll hang on to some of this, let the kids try some of it, and go from there. So thank you guys for tuning into this video. Let us know what you think. We were planning on, planning on doing this more. We'll have a slightly better setup and hopefully a less messy one next time. As, as we do more of these, they will be monthly as we get a crate. Once a crate comes in, we'll do a new video. So if one comes in sooner than another, great. If not, there might be a longer gap between them. It just, we're at the mercy of the postal system, both the Japanese and American. So, but thank you guys for tuning in. We will catch you all in the next video, which will be sometime. Happy Halloween. Hope you guys had a good one. Hopefully you had a safe one. And if you have any, uh, if you have, any pictures of yourselves in costumes, maybe post them on our Twitter or Facebook account, which will be in the uh, links below. So, take care. All right, though. Yeah. Yeah. I want to try some more things and then, like, take a picture. Be like the aftermath of our video.